Pheasant out, Pluto. Pheasant out. Hey, walking and licking my drip. Look at my wrist, AP got me sick You could go blind, stop staring at it I'm killing these beats, someone get a make kick I'm with two baddies, they lit just like Megan That mean I run with a fight in the stadium Whole lot of drip, I think I might float I'll wipe my coat, I think I'm the GOAT We wipe his nose, don't give him no tissue If he won't smoke, then we pressing the issue Hey YouTube, it's Tiana Chanel I don't do that intro I'm sorry Hey YouTube, it's <coughs> okay. Hey, why am I saying hey YouTube? Hey y'all, it's Tiana Chanel. I don't do that intro shit no more, y'all. You know this. It's kind of whack, but um, this is how my hair is looking right now, and I'm gonna show y'all how to do the hairstyle that's obviously in the thumbnail. Okay. So. <laughs> So today I'm going to show y'all how to do the um, the little big pineapple bun kind of thing. And yeah, this is a really quick, simple, easy hairstyle. You want to do it when your hair is like big but still defined. So maybe like day two or three hair. And yeah, you want it to be more defined. So you don't want it like a puff puff, but you want it to be big. But define if that makes sense if you wait too late like don't date don't do it on like day spa hair you know it's probably not gonna look how do you want it i'm just wrong way in my hair yeah okay so this is what you do get a brush this shit looks dirty Get a brush, use the soft side maybe, and you want to leave pieces out in the back so I can give like the messy look. We can leave these two pieces out. We can redefine them later. And you definitely want to leave the sideburns down. So leave the sideburns down and leave some hair out in the back. Definitely do that. Separate the edges. And then we're gonna try again. You can really pull the hair out at the end. So yeah, it might be easier. If you want to have the top of your head, you're going to have to adjust it so it can be at the top. So just pull the elastic up like that. And then once that's at the top, I think this is at the top. I want to. Y'all can see it. So then I just do it to where it looks longer. The longer pieces are to the side. Are on the side, basically. You want hair in the front too, though. But you want like the really long pieces on the side. And you just play with it. What you was looking for, girl. Oh boy. Okay. 
okay? And then you can pull the sideburns out if you didn't already. Pull the sideburns out. So I pulled a piece out behind the ear, the side, all that. Okay. So when you have it to like a shape that you want it or like, you can go around and you can low key bobby pin some spots if you like to do that and define the frizzy part. So just get some water and some oil maybe. Basically, want to pull the sides down and make them look like longer, and you want to pin it so it can stay in place. So let me define. Bobby pin this piece right here. Can't even tell. And then we're gonna do it to this side. Same thing. Okay, y'all. So this is how the puff is looking. And if you want the top to stand up. Okay, let me define the size. Then do the little side burn. And then do the hair that you have done. Okay, so after you wet all those sections, front if it's I mean the top so it's not laying down flat right right so yeah tease the top mm -hmm. and this is like the gist oh, shit. of this part of the whole hairstyle like this is basically it so after that you want to after this you want to do the edges so I'm gonna do the edges it's looking good it's looking big it's looking messy it's looking cute but defined 
if y'all want to see my edge tutorial, y'all can watch that. Um, yeah, y'all can watch that. I just posted a new one. Both of them have the same methods, just like a different variation. And I low key want to do a lot of swoopies with this hairstyle. Okay, so we basically already did the foundation with the gel, so now we want to use Edge Booster to solidify it. As y'all can see, I'm really struggling, so I just had to go and do my edges off camera. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all can watch my edge tutorial if you want to see how I did it. But yeah, I had to do that part off camera, and I did the other half of my head off camera also. Okay, y'all. So I finished my edges. This is how it's looking. It's really giving like low key pride and prejudice. You know, that's what it's giving. It's giving that. It's giving those vibes. But I just put some gel on the sideburn. So it won't be like. So yeah, this is the hairstyle and I like to top it off with this spray oil because even though like regular oil reduces frizz, I don't like rubbing it through my hair because it might create more frizz. I just spray this over, give it some shine, and then the top is flat again. So. And this is the finished product. Uh, the next hairstyle I'm gonna do is the big top knot. Is the big top knot bun? Somebody requested, and then somebody requested two buns again. But I'm gonna do that with like zigzag parts. And after that, I will begin braids again, and I'll probably have that in for a good three weeks. So sorry, y'all. Um, after I get braids, I plan on getting my hair straightened and getting it cut. Like, it's already bobbling, as y'all can see where it's... I'm gonna have to get more cut off the back, but I'm probably gonna get it all cut, like, right here. This length. So it can match the length of the front, and that is gonna be it. I'm gonna let my hair grow, 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 grow. The goal is for my hair to reach the back of my butt. At least that waist length, basically. That is my overall goal. I feel like I could get there in three to four years. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Whole lot of rest on me. Yeah. 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 Been banging YSB. Got the